1955, on December 1st in Montgomery, Alabama, Rosa Parks broke a barrier. She became a civil rights icon by fighting back and refusing to give up her seat to a white passenger on a segregated bus. I was arrested on December 1st, 1955, for refusing to stand up on the orders of the bus driver after the uh, white seats had been occupied in the front. And of course, I was not in the front of the bus. On a cold December evening in 1955, Rosa Parks began a revolution by just sitting down. She was tired after spending a long day at work. She worked as a seamstress at a department store. Later that day, she stepped on the bus and sat in the fifth row of the color section. When she refused to stand up and move, she was arrested, and that was when the Montgomery bus boycott civil rights protest began, where you couldn't ride the bus to work, school, town, or anywhere on Monday. And if you did work, take a cab or share, ride or walk. This protest sparked the Montgomery bus boycott and everyone continued to not ride the bus. This soon led to a boycott for a day by all African Americans to not ride a bus for Parks trial. An arrest on December 5th, 1955, which led to a 381 day boycott. The December 5th was the day the people stayed off in large numbers and did not ride the bus. In fact, most of the buses, I think all of them were just about empty, with the exception maybe a very, very few people. Soon after this, Parks lost her job, so not only breaking the barrier of standing up to the bus driver, she also broke the barrier by traveling to speak extensively about segregation and civil rights. There were multiple similar instances, such as 14-year-old Claudette Colvin, she also refused to give up her seat to a white passenger on a segregated bus nine months before Rosa Parks. Emmett Till was someone who suffered from racism. Emmett Till was accused of flirting with a white woman, which led to him get beat and shot by white men. Rosa Parks was fighting for not only civil rights, but to change the way people viewed African Americans, just like Emmett Till's case. También esto fue en la época en el que el KKK estaba cerca y todavía está presente hasta el día de hoy. Harriet Tubman had a big impact on the slavery world. Harriet Tubman escaped slavery and made 13 missions to rescue enslaved people using the network of anti-slavery activists and safe houses known as the Underground Railroad. Rosa Parks was born February 4th, 1913 in Tuskegee, Alabama, then moved to Pine Level, Alabama with her grandparents. Both grandparents were former slaves and strong advocates for racial equality. Her childhood brought her early experiences with racial discrimination and activism for racial equality. Her school she went to was also segregated. In this writing, Rosa Parks stated, I had been pushed around all my life and felt at this moment that I couldn't take it anymore. When I asked the policeman why we had to be pushed around, he said he didn't know. The law is the law. You are under arrest, he said. I didn't resist. Found her and started a movement. We, the Negro citizens, have decided not to ride the buses in Montgomery until we receive some justice and until we get a hearing, even if it takes a year. Come on. Rosa Parks sparked the Civil Rights Movement and had a tremendous impact on the world. The Civil Rights Movement ended segregation in public places, banned employment discrimination, which means jobs can't refuse to hire because of your race, color, religion, sex, or national origin. This is one of the main things the Civil Rights did. I want to let you know that all, all of us uh, should be free and equal and have equal opportunity. And that is what I'm trying to instill and encourage and inspire young people to reach their highest potential. The short-term impact was that the Montgomery bus system got closed down for a while. This was because they had so many passengers that were black and participated in the Montgomery bus boycott, which caused them to lose lots of money, and that's why they closed down. started a bus protest which literally electrified the nation.
And that was the day when we decided that we were not going to take segregated buses any longer. And you know, when we planned the bus boycott, we said if we could just get about 50 or 60 percent of the Negroes of Montgomery not to ride buses, this would be an effective boycott. I think that whole day we found eight Negroes on the bus. And from that day on, that boycott was more than 99 and 9 tenths percent effective. Rosa Parks was an amazing woman. She overcame many obstacles and influenced people to take a stand. She broke the barrier of segregation rights and sparked one of the biggest movements which changed many lives. Rosa Parks and her choices were outstanding to the nation because she challenged people to follow the Constitution.